I grew up in the era of the video store. I was raised on films starring John Wayne, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Sylvester Stallone. My favorite movies include Conan the Barbarian, The Godfather, Godzilla, and Seven Samurai. Movies have been a permanent fixture in my life. Renting movies for the weekend lasted well into my college years, and we still binge the latest releases on HBO, Netflix, and Disney+. The first time I picked up a camera, I knew I was meant to be a filmmaker. Filmmaking was the artistic medium that made sense to me, that I believed I could be good at doing. The process made sense to me, but click. Though I haven't produced a feature film in more than 10 years, the desire to make movies is still there. The love of the process keeps me tinkering with short videos, special effects, and playing with documentary ideas. When I sit down to edit, I still get lost in the process, arranging and rearranging the footage, playing with color correction, messing with timing. The math is what keeps me coming back. How many frames of a transition or a single shot are needed? How many frames are too many? Should I use a straight cut? Should the footage be slowed down or sped up? The process fascinates me. Whether it is a short film, feature film, or industrial video, the process is the same for me. The process is magic. The process allows me to be in control. When I am lost in editing, in filmmaking. The buzz of anxiety melts away. My depression fades into the background, into the shadows. I can think clearly, make decisions, focus on the task at hand. I am at peace. The first film I ever directed, Choices, wasn't a masterpiece. It didn't open doors for me, but it was beautiful. The process of making the movie, working with our cast and crew, the editing, it meant everything to me. Whether or not I made my money back on the film didn't matter. The movie itself is what mattered, the art. Cinematography is probably my weakest skill. I can capture a good enough image most of the time, but I'm no Roger Deakins or Vittorio Storaro. I keep my palette simple, my framing consistent, and just try to get an image that is balanced with respect to light and composition. Capturing a breathtaking image for me is a rare gem, a single lottery win over the course of an entire production. I don't agonize over a single shot. Instead, I choose to focus on getting the movie completed. A single beautiful shot is one component of the whole movie. On the no-budget movies I make, getting a film completed must take precedence over one perfect shot. Time is what I'm fighting against. I may have only one day to get 15 setups done in one location and four others in another location. That is half an hour away. The perfect shot? That has to be the happy accident. I'm working with friends and volunteers. No one is getting paid. We all have real lives to go back to and get through. In a given production, I may have 12 days to shoot a movie, 12 days to get 45 to 60 scenes strung together in a coherent structure, 12 days to get it done. Beauty is a luxury I don't always have. The story is the priority. In my life, I've directed five feature films and more than a dozen short films. Every single project has been a blessing for me. Each one made me feel like I counted, like what I had to say mattered, that I was more than just a paycheck. Each film allowed me to speak in my own voice, rather than the hollow voice that prevented ridicule, that kept me safe. To speak but never be heard in this life is a tragedy too many of us must endure. I'm no different. Most of my life I've been the wallflower, listening, watching, but never speaking or engaging. Through filmmaking I can reflect on what I've seen and heard, share my point of view, share my thoughts, and say the things I've always wanted to say. 